Ivysaur. Ivysaur versus Pops. This is a big one. Ivysaur is one of the most under-known top players that exists in America. He is a fantastic Carl player, and he and has taken out Lord Knight in tournament. He's taken out myself in tournament in the past. <laughs> he's, he's, he's beaten a lot of good players. So and I think the most important know. thing is America doesn't really have Carl. No. And it's, if it's you don't know the matchup, yeah, life gets really tough real fast. Really fast. Uh, but on the other hand, we have Pops, who also is the Blaise rising Blaise. star of Blaze Blue right now. He's come out of basically nowhere. He's young. A net player, he, 15 he, years I, old, I believe. 15 year old net player. <laughs> and he's been shocking people with who he's beat. He, he's beaten Lord Knight, correct? Yes. So he, <laughs> you, you already see a bit of a resume forming there, where <laughs> you win tournaments, come you beat here. one of America's best, and you show up at Evo and try to make a repeat. And it, it, it shows. He's the knowledge he knows with Platinum, his presence of mind for such a young age is right. incredible. Right. I, I only hope that he is somehow miraculously conquered tournament nerves at this age because I want to see him playing at his best. And you know, that does add a lot to it. The fact that we're at Evo, the fact that there's the Evo stage. We're on stream to everyone. The world is seeing this. It is. The world it is, is talking amazing. about this. And I don't believe this is a button check. I believe we're going right into it. Yes. It looks like it. Another platinum. You won't see many other platinums. It's basically Pops and Shea right now in terms of Evo. Instant burst, first hit. Ivysaur wants all the momentum in this match. I think that's right. But it does but put you in a bit of an hit. awkward situation here where the doll's across the screen. You have no way to get to her. You're going to have to summon her, but when do you get that moment? I guess, okay, I guess even when he takes the hit there, you can summon her. So that's, honestly, I like that choice. Yeah, get her here. Better to have her and be at less health than... I mean, full health Carl without doll. That's right, that's right. He is half a character without his doll. But Pop's showing. He just looks so comfortable. He's, he, <laughs> he's showing he's not afraid at all. He, he doesn't need his. Cat Hammer's so great for him right here. There's so many ways to make Cat Hammer work for his small hand. That's all he needed at that point. Pop's perfect on the first round. Yeah. And he took Ivy Sword first. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's feeling really good right now. Wow. I love that! He blocks strings on the doll to keep him busy. Uses the bombs to catch him in the air and crosses under. Pops, he's so creative. He's so creative. I love it. And this is a good character to be creative with. Baits the anti-air, looks for a grab. Can't quite get it. It was perfect. Presence, not effective there. Ivysaur stays above them. The non-super presence do not have a great vertical hitbox. So Pops is neutral in this, in this compared to the last match we just saw, is amazing. However, once you're in Carl's pressure, oh, it both dropped difficult. three things in a row that were very big. The, dude, that's a big drop. These drops. Okay, okay, now we're now we're feeling hurts. the scramble a bit. Yeah. yeah. Wow, big hit, big burst, puts him in the corner. Honestly, one thing about Ivysaur that I, I'm a bit nervous about, he always bursts instantly. He Snap always bursts burst. instantly, and his doll is getting pretty low. I'm kind of scared he hasn't been managing it. Uh, his doll management's typically quite strong. Uh, like, it's very close, but okay. Just this enough to be close it. it out. Oh, he ran out, but the cross, cross up's up. just enough. Yeah, I, I, I don't see Ivysaur break his doll, really. It, um, it, I, I was scared there, like yeah. the one hit. Carl can't do it. And but. I think that's a testament to Pops uh, actually beating up the doll. Yes. He's very aggressive about the doll. It shows he knows this matchup because he's doing very There's a reset coming here. Oh. There was a reset coming there, but Pops up back, J.A. Yeah. to hit the doll out of it. Which is a great choice. You really want to try to get out of Carl's pressure because if you just sit in the sandwich, you're dead. You're, you're going to lose. Grabs great the roll. Crowd. Puts it back. Oh, puts it back. Wow. Pops looking so good. Crush trigger. With overdrive, this might be enough to kill. Yeah, oh, no. Not no quite. Way. The overhead. Wow. Like I was saying earlier, the cat punch. You have five chances on an overhead. It's so fast. You can't react Please to it. So getting that one hit with cat hammer, it's, that's exactly Especially what I mean. Especially on wanted. a very low life health character, yeah. Carl. Yeah. So far, I think the most impressive thing here is Pop's bizarre, obscure, character-specific choices. He, like, when he block-strung the doll to make 
and then threw the bombs in the air to make him block and crossed under it. Like, you know he knows Carl. That's, I, that's, that's, <laughs> that's only Carl. I'm really curious where he got, I mean, I guess there's net player Carl's. Gotta be, gotta be. Because he's running his game right now, fearlessly. All right, Carl's got the hit. And push it to the corner. Goes for, I believe the fully charged uh, horse is a block of, er, sorry, guard crush. So far, Pops' air grab game has actually been stellar. It, it, that's a little more awkward in this game. Sometimes you can't really base a game plan on it. But His grab game in general has been yeah. incredibly strong. And what's weird about it is he hasn't really been going for thrower jack miss. And Ivysaur has not teched one of them. Uh, I believe what's been happening is he's been getting counter hit throws on the ground. So I believe that Carl's trying to roll okay. out. Okay, yeah. And the roll can be grabbed. You're definitely right on, on, on defense. Yeah, that's, that's a good choice. And it, it shows more matchup knowledge there because yeah. that's Carl's only real reversal. So having a good grab game against Carl, definitely a good choice. Tries for the in air, gets baited. First, I like that. Yeah. All right, knockdown. I love that. Puts Takes it back in the corner roll. too. That's great. Oh Whoa. no, that worked out really badly. He tried to catch the back dash or something like that, but it ended up just getting him counter hit by flat. There we go. The grab tech, but can't hammer. Still super present. Gets rid of it. And ops for Friday. I like that. Man. I like that. Oh, I see. He's just he's just shuffling. Yeah, yeah. Putting his cards back in the deck. Impressive. Oh. He's Ivy yeah. showing he doesn't really have the That was gonna confirm the match. That was gonna confirm the other presence. Oh, he yeah. had to burst. Oh yeah. This is a good spot for, for never mind, he lost. It went for a for a fleeting moment, that was a good spot. Um but Pops just dominant. You see took you it. see DC, his sponsor. Excitedly coming in the excited. back. This, this was kind of like a uh, seat of the pants sponsorship. It just happened just before Evo. Uh, he flew him out to CEO, to my understanding, and their their new their new partnership is going great. Yeah, no, DC. He's been doing amazing work. Like he just all he wants is to get Pops experience. He wants he wants the young rising stars to be able to play as much as possible, and I I really respect that. And I'm sure he wants Pops to work out too. That that is another <laughs> thing you can, you can always trust.